The chair of the Federal Reserve Bank has told us to think big. We are presenting a plan to do what is necessary to deal with the corona crisis and make sure we can get the country back to work and school safely. But that's just a lie. Much of the Democrats' plan is not even about you. It's about them and their radical agenda and leftist pals. Now, this is what Pelosi and her friends think will actually help get your kids back to school. Immediately releasing certain prisoners, giving marijuana businesses an alternative to dealing in cash, and a blue state tax cut for her millionaire friends in California and New York. Now, this isn't about Americans getting back on their feet, getting back to work. It's pandemic politics at its worst. Joining me now is Dinesh D'Souza, conservative commentator and author of The United States of Socialism. Dinesh, earlier today, that you said that Democrats are expert practitioners of the politics of fear and that they're relying on the vulnerability, um, uh, this vulnerability that they create to enact their agenda, injecting fear and, and panic to push this multi-trillion dollar disaster. Explain. When you look at the uh, grab bag of socialist proposals, they're actually a pretty hard sell because they don't comport with experience or reason. And the Democrats kind of deep down know that. And so what they rely on is the politics of fear. They're expert practitioners of the politics of fear. Why? Because if you think about fear, it is fear of the unknown. It causes you to suspend your reason and do things that you wouldn't otherwise do. Uh, almost a century ago, FDR, a Democrat, warned us about fear. He said the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. And what he meant is that fear is kind of un-American. Fear can paralyze you. Fear can ultimately become the problem itself. But not for Democrats today. For them, fear is now an opportunity. And if you look at the coronavirus is only the latest. I mean, a generation ago, they were talking about the ozone layer dissipating, the earth running out of food. Next, it was climate change. They're trying to introduce a hysteria because in the hysteria, they want people to act in ways that they would never act if they gave something sober consideration. Yeah, Dinesh, they're now comparing people who want Americans to go back to school and work to kind of their, their, to climate deniers or anti-vaxxers. Or, so again, instead of actually taking on the argument, well, can kids really spread the virus? What are the other consequences of not being in school for kids? They don't want to engage in that debate. Instead, they say, see, you're just a denier. You're anti-science. Yeah, one of uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's, well, her chief of staff, uh, had said recently a very revealing thing. He said, look, uh, you guys may think of this climate change business as being about the climate. We don't. For us, it's all about changing the economy. And so what he was confessing, in a sense, is that here is a chance to do things by invoking climate. I mean, he couldn't care less whether the earth is getting hotter or colder. He doesn't know. He doesn't care. But it is a pretext for doing things that you couldn't otherwise do. The same thing here. A bunch of these Pelosi proposals have nothing to do with fighting the health crisis. They have nothing to do even with jobs. They're basically a way to introduce proposals that they've been trying to push for a long time, but that met the resistance of kind of calm reason and, and political good sense. And now they're hoping to shove them by because they think we're all too scared to do otherwise. 